big part of the charm of a uh, modular synthesizer is the flexibility you have to route signals just about anywhere. This particular patch consists of two sine waves uh, being run into the mixer together. Each sine wave sounds different because um, the sine waves are being modulated different. For example, the first oscillator is being modulated by the oscillator, low frequency oscillator. We can of course change the frequency. frequency. The nice thing about uh, another nice thing about this is that uh, you can run multiple waves out of a single oscillator. Something would be very difficult to do with a regular console type synthesizer. We've got the the sawtooth wave coming out and modulating the filter. We've got the pulse wave coming out of the low frequency oscillator and modulating oscillator one's frequency. What, that's what generates that mono, mono, the, the change in pitch, the sudden change in pitch. Now we can affect that very easily by just changing the level. You have to be careful uh, once you arrive at a patch. This is one of the drawbacks, I guess, if there is one, to a modular synthesizer. And that is that once you have a patch working, um, you really have no way of saving it. I mean, you can write it down, carefully notate it, which takes quite a bit of time. But unlike um, modern digital synthesizers, there's no way to just hit a button and save the patch so you can come back to it later. So if you make a change, you have to be very careful because some of the changes, um, just a tiny little change on a dial can change the whole nature of the thing. For example, this one that we're working with. If I change this um, modulation level, now I have the second oscillator. In. They're no longer in. They're no longer kind of. They kind of were relatively in tune. Not exactly, but they were complementing each other before. Now they're kind of out of whack with each other. To it again. I'm just making infinitesimal changes on that level. nice is you can always add modules to add extra modulation capabilities to what you've already got. In this case we've added in some noise um, output, pink noise and low frequency noise to the patch. Now right now it's all turned down. We can turn the noise up and have it modulate oscillator 2. I got noise running to the filter, so we can run, use it to help drive the filter. Some of these 
these things you can do with a console synthesizer, but the fact that you can route signals so many different places uh, gives you a lot more options for altering signals, modulating signals while they're being played. And uh, it's one of the great, great appealing features of a modular synthesizer. So why bother with a modular synthesizer? Having a, a modular synthesizer is like a sonic laboratory. We already showed the some of the possibilities of routing signals. Uh, it was easy to see how easy and dramatic the variations that can be achieved with uh, the slight changes are. Um, the range of control on a modular is typically greater than what you'd find on a console synthesizer. If you're interested in sound and you want to explore sonic possibilities, whether they're mu musical or noise or just some sort of ambient sound, I really can't think of a better tool for it than a modular synthesizer. Um, I'm new to it myself. Uh, this is a rather small synthesizer by modular standards, and yet it still offers an amazing amount of possibility, and uh, it's a lot of fun.